Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where last time we left off with the repair shop because this floor was up here, which means uh, the uh, regolith stacked up too high and destroyed our equipment there. But that's sorted now, and as you can see, all works nice and fine. Then we also uh, managed to complete uh, all our research, which means we are no longer needing the research. However, what we will do is deconstruct two modules and replace them with cargo modules, because um, then uh, we are still good enough to launch this rocket as is to the um, to the closest uh, asteroid uh, where we can then harvest stuff. So here, if we have a cargo module, we also need um, an unloader. And we make it simple, we just drop everything here. Um, need to get a bit closer there to reach that. Hopefully that will do the trick. Otherwise we will have to, to uh, place uh, a gantry there. And then, uh, of course, we want to expand here, uh, but I think what we should plan out is the setup that we need uh, down here for our liquid oxygen and hydrogen production. So just so we have an understanding uh, how big this this will be on this side we will need three tiles space so let's start here and then i think the whole thing is this wide that's on this side. Ah, no, that's that's our marker. So I would guess this wide. And I will check that again. I mean, what we can do is dig this out. And this isolated tile is made out of uh, ceramic because that's really um, uh, isolating well because what we will have in there is rather on the cool side so we do not uh, want to exchange heat unnecessarily what we also plan to do eventually is having some solar panels for energy production but we are missing glass there so that's another thing that we have to uh, deal with um, have we got it in here Glass forge. Um, yeah, let's let's place it here. Um, do a bit of wiring like this, and then I think we have an output 
there and we will also remove that part there okay uh, that's already uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, stuff for our duplicants to do and now I also see where the water is, is coming from um, we have something in here rust or water uh, let's take the the water and then uh, we will just let time pass by uh, until we see some meaningful progress and the looks of it we managed to turn on the polymer press again uh, to get more plastic out of it because i want to extend this tube um, up here uh, once we have covered the the top part there and as always priority is first um, doing the bunker doors before continuing with with anything below right so let's make some progress here then from the looks of it we managed to uh, fix up our rocket with two cargo bays so we can send it onwards I also rechecked this layout. We need a bit less space. I think uh, it's only 17 wide, plus a bit of space on, on either side. Um, and then on here, I decided to have a sweepy dock here so we can collect all the iron that's lying around up here because the duplicants uh, spent quite a while running over and back to collect it, having everything there might be beneficial. So I think we will wait out this, um, this uh, asteroid storm and then launch the rocket to the nearest asteroid to gather some material. And then somewhere down here, we will have to have a space where we can actually process those materials. But we will get back to that once the rocket is safely back. And our rocket has returned delivering a quite a few goodies uh, but these are all raw materials so we will have to first close off here uh, and then extend this one so we can load up the next batch so to process these materials we need a molecular forge and i thought we can place it down here and i already started laying things out we will need a bit of power and we can take that directly from the fat cable if we bridge over here and then we will just dig out here a bit and then have more going down there uh, we also are producing um, a glass which means um, we can even start uh, we will leave a bit of a gap here but then we can start placing the sonar solar panels um, uh, there um, and 
the way we do that is we will stack them like that. Three this way. So I think height wise that works works out if we do it down down here might even have a bit of uh, space up here of course this will have a negative effect on the uh, on the solar panel um, but that's not something that i worry about too much so right then we can break this and we can dig this out and then i think we will place the molecular forge um, on mesh tiles so we do not have contact with any surrounding material which tends to be hot and i am hoping that uh, the forge itself does not overheat otherwise uh, we will have to see what we can do about that and i think it's in here in the refinement yes so if we have it there let's also dig that out and have mesh tiles going there and then we need a bit of um, power cable that we will con connect to over there and probably we will need of something here because one material that we get out of the forge is liquid that we want to store in here um, and uh, then process further think for now we have quite a bit uh, things scheduled um, and we will have to have a look at the next thing apparently this does not work out as expected we are taking overheat damage um, which is no good because that's probably because of the uh, the materials stored in here it's just too warm yeah here the gold element gam it's over 300 degrees uh, that will not work so let's forget about this this project there is another alternative that we could do is by having uh, sweepers um, they would have to be uh, here and then potentially they take damage and then we could basically have a storage bin there one there and everything is passed from this side 
through here but I think we will leave it at that and wait um, until we make progress here at this point we have made a bit of room here so I can start with laying out the, the solar panel uh, I want to leave a bit room here on this side and then we stack four above and then we go down again and can I place the last one no I need to be very careful that the panels do not touch the the hot regulars because otherwise they take damage and then we will connect in a very simple manner to here and and here in the middle we will have a ladder going up and to the side and then we can actually place this one as well and need also the power cable and that's the first segment of our solar panel array and we can extend this further over to this side and then here we also made a bit of progress some more modules with robo miners install some more bunker doors and we are still missing a few towards this side they're mainly waiting for the steel but so far um, we have queued up thermium uh, super coolant and insulation um, to be produced and I also uh, extended the conveyor belt right to here so uh, that should make the that easier and the next rocket is almost full again uh, once that happens we'll send that uh, away again towards the uh, other asteroid the closest one that we have not visited uh, in the last session because if um, something in here is they need to regenerate a bit so if you visit the same over and over again uh, you tend to get less and less uh, resources um, and that even happens because these are so close so the round trip time is is pretty quick so even we we, we even see that uh, when switching between these two i mean currently um we still have a way uh, to wait a bit of time until we have loaded the uh, oxalite in but i guess as soon as we have liquid oxygen that will change and uh, our rocket is then fueled up pretty quickly but we are not 
there yet so um, maybe what we can do is priority six on here and then we shall see how much energy we get from uh, the, the solar array Our first array of solar, solar panels is done and if we have a look here in the statistics uh, we can see we produced 750 kilojoules uh, through the panels uh, that's about the same as with the uh, petroleum generators and of course we can expand that However, here we see uh, the molecular forge, that one is fried, so what we will do here is I already replaced the, the tiles with airflow tiles, had a bit of drywall in the back and then we can basically then reroute this cooling system to go through here if we have a bit of liquid down there and that should cool down this forge enough so that we can then um, can then operate it without hazard. Uh, here we will also have a bottle emptier because uh, we want to put in there some liquid and we will have a small pump there. that way and then we need to connect everything and then we can do our thing hopefully so we need to connect this here we need to connect that there and then we need to break this pipe because we have to reconnect Okay. Make that like this. And there we go. Now we should see the thing here is cooling down. And once it's cool enough, uh, also the uh, molecular forge um we can oh, let's actually deconstruct and make it a new out of uh, gold amalgam that um, gives us a bit more uh, uh, leeway with uh, with the temperature and here on this side um, I will make it like that so we can hook that up this way and then was it in refinement yes 
and we'll place it there. Right? And then we also want to have this done because then we can place the, the second section of the solar panels giving us even more energy and then we can finally turn our attention to the thing above here to finish that part of the pipe here is also getting a bit of progress at least planning wise not so much uh, for the building but all in good time we have made some good progress we have the molecular forge here we already produced some of the exotic materials we have started our uh, solar array however at this point of course this will never generate power unless we open the bunker doors so we are also busy extending everything over to this side and yeah i think next time we will have to see how to complete this upper part uh, we need a bit of power i prepared something down here so we can uh, pull up two more power lines um, should be good and then we can continue and probably also work a bit on this set up here but that's all for next time hope you enjoyed this episode and join me next time until then goodbye